Back now on MLB Network from Studio 21 with Carlos Pena. I'm Robert Flores. A new top 100 prospect rankings has been released, and of course, there are some exciting new names to get to know. Carlos, what does being included on this exclusive list mean to these players? Well, it's a huge honor, first of all. However, there are other things you have to deal with, like the hype and the pressure. So you have to be very, very, very focused on what you're doing and understand that just getting back to work is uh, going to be key to continue the success. You touched on it. Being a part of this list comes with extra scrutiny, maybe a little extra pressure. How do players navigate that? It's difficult, I, I must say. I, from personal experience, could tell you that you have to kind of set that aside. You understand, you embrace it, you enjoy it, you're thankful for it. But at the end of the day, you still have to go in there and grind. Forget about all those distractions. Focus on the game. Well, congrats to all the players that were on this top 100 prospects list. We can't wait to see how they develop in the near future and hopefully break into the big leagues. And welcome to the game, everybody. Glad you've joined us. This game will feature AAA baseball from the Pacific Coast League. It's the Las Vegas Aviators going up against the Salt Lake Bees. All set for the start of this inning. And now, the center fielder. He has been on fire as of late. And there's a ton of buzz in the org about him being called up very soon. The wind up and the pitch. Swing and a miss out front that time. Since he's got a 4-0 lead, down. he should attack the zone and avoid walks. Lots of margin for error right now. That one fouled off. Oh and 2 and the delivery. Fights it off, we'll see another. center field makes the catch and there's one gone batting fifth the first baseman number now batting number four And a big swing and a miss. Both the pitcher and catcher have noticed how aggressive these hitters have been early in the count. Might see if they can get them to chase. Hard ground ball, that's a base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. I'm sure he's happy with that swing, especially considering he hit it 107 miles per hour off the lumber. If he got it a grain lower, it might still be flying. Swings at the big bender for the K. So one hit is all they get. Midway through the fourth, the Bees lead it four to nothing. Base is empty with two out. Here's the second baseman, Willie Calhoun. Willie Calhoun. Two down and nobody aboard. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. A frozen rope. And there's a hit. 
He makes the turn and digs for second base. Chance at a three-bagger. And that's a triple. We hear a lot about how the numbers turn against the pitcher the third time through the order, and that might be what's happening here. Looking at the manager, he may have a decision to make. Now batting, number four. They get it in quickly. So first and second now, one out. Right there we saw a fastball that was piped, and he was licking his chops as that thing was coming in. Great cut. Might be a chance for them to start working their way back into this thing. Baseman, and here at the plate, the first Three. baseman, number seven. The Bees, up by four. And we're in the top half of the sixth. Cut on a miss. That's a strikeout. Now that out. The third baseman, the next to hit. Swings and misses, and that'll be that. So another good inning on the mound. Six shutout innings so far. The Bees have the edge. Four to nothing. And here's the first baseman, Evan White. The first baseman, number 22, Evan White. Runners at first and second with one gone here in the bottom of the sixth. Line drive to center. Makes the play. Hunter tagging for third. Here comes the throw. Moves up to third, now two away. So after he moved up on the tag, we'll see now if they can pay it off Let's and bring him in to score. A lot of ways they can plate this run now. Now at the plate, the center fielder, number four. And swing and miss. All ones the count. That one ripped into right center. That's back. And it's gone. Circles the bases. 13th homer of the season. It's 5-2. to two. That long ball just added some more drama into this game. That's easy power he's showing up there. Hammered that one up over the wall in the opposite gap, and that is rare territory. Not many hitters. Number four did well despite the loss. Put together three hits, one of them a home run. Strong individual day despite the team losing, and he can feel really good about that. Our final line score, first for the victorious D. Six runs, nine hits, no errors. They left 12 runners on base. The center fielder Batting now at the plate. The center Come fielder, number four. Ripped, but it curls foul. and one here's the pitch he swings and fouls one off I'm looking for the strikeout one hit one left bottom half of inning number one coming up no score
Fielder back here at the ballpark. And now the center fielder, Jordan Adams. Jordan Adams. for a base hit. He turns and heads for second. Gets to second with nobody out. Fell behind in the count with two strikes, but didn't panic and picked up the hit. That one was served in a punch bowl right down the middle, and he regretted it as soon as it left his hand. Now they've got a good shot at scoring the first run of the game. So up next, Kyron Paris. Kyron Paris. Four runs already this inning. Here in the back end of the third inning. One down, no, one down. A laser into the outfield. Hauls it in for the out. The catcher, number 36, Anthony. We're coming right up against it with the way this rain is coming down. And if there's a lengthy delay, chances are it'll force pitching changes, which would lead to some early exits on the mound. Swing and a miss. Out on the mound, he's been throwing lots of strikes, so the hitter might decide to be aggressive over the middle. Sure, he's got good stuff, but you can't hit it if you don't swing, and he's not missing the zone. Ground ball left side, could be two. To second for one. On to first, double play. That's a very smooth play coming across the bag at second. He makes the bare hand play look very easy. Teams are looking for it. Nobody on with one out. And now it's going to be Charlie Blackman. Blackman. One out and the base is empty. And he swings and lofts one to deep center. That one back there. Settles under it and makes the catch. Two down. The batter number 24. Second baseman, Willie Calhoun. The batter number four. That one hammered, but pulled foul. The Aviators, with plenty of ground to make up, and we're in the top half of the sixth. Fly ball to right field and deep. Makes the grab, one down. The first baseman, number seven, Drew... Lugbauer. Two outs and runners at first and second. And next, the cleanup hitter, 0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. Come on. Turned on, but foul wide of third. Here comes the 0-1. Out in front and foul to the left side. Blasted to left, way back and way gone.
an absolutely titanic shot. 14th of the year, and they cut into the lead. It's 8-5. He's gone deep in back-to-back -back games, and his timing looks pretty good at the plate right now. Clearly seeing the ball well. Some hitters are just so good at covering the outer half of the plate. He did very well to extend his arms and use a whole lot of torque to pull that one up and over the wall for the homer. Charlie Blackman the getting ready to hit. The designated hitter, Charlie Blackman. outs and nobody aboard. Lined in the left center for a base hit. That one might as well have been placed on a tee right down the middle. Now at the dish, the center fielder, number four. He's already homered in this ball game. Quick reflexes at third on that diving catch. He's really showing some great team. skill at the hot corner. Number four played well but couldn't lift them to a win. Just the one hit, but it was a homer. This game shows just why he's a key contributor for them. Every team needs hitters who give them the kind of results he did here. Our final line score, first for the victorious B, nine runs, 12 heads. The center fielder that will hit next. Right the center fielder, number four. Third. 
And they're out in front with a 1 0 lead. Got it, fifth. The first baseman, number seven, Drew Ludbauer. Two outs and a runner at first. The first baseman, the next to hit. The 1-0 pitch. And another ball. This is part of why he's been on such a tear lately. He's doing a good job working the count, giving himself an edge. Fastball in for a strike. It's clear he's trying to own the inside part of the plate with two straight fastballs inside. We'll see if he goes away or comes back inside. That one finds the zone, and the count's even at two. One run in the inning so far, and we're just getting going here in the top of the first. So now a full count with another power hitter waiting on deck. And now he's mouthing off to the umpire after not getting the call. You don't like to see this from a minor league pitcher. Gotta show more composure out there. Minor, and that should be extra bases. Rowe stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. That is it. The third baseman, Brett Harris. And now, the third baseman, number 23. Come on now, get your pitch up there. Now here's the 0-2. Runners on the move. And that's a base hit. Round third, the throw in. Not in time. Runner safe as a run scores. The second baseman, Cooper Bowman. Leading off for Las Vegas, the center fielder. Number four. And the pitch. This one's hammered to left center. Well struck. Home run. A towering blast. And they add to the lead. It's 3-0. Always helps to pad the lead, and they did exactly that. As soon as that pitch came off his fingertips, he was dreading the result. That was a hanging breaking ball, and he crushed it for a homer. Now batting, number four. Fouled off, left side. The 0-1. Hit on the ground, might be two. Slings to second. He's out. Double play, and that'll do it for the inning. One hit in the inning, but that's all they got. Home half of the fifth coming up. The Aviators out front here. Three to nothing. We're back here Meeting at the ballpark. The and now at the plate, the center fielder. Number four. Joyce, the tall righty, 225 pounds, and he was a third-round pick back in 2022 and he delivers foul ball there hey, one 
Right, he comes to the plate. And that one fouled off. Oh, and two, here's the pitch. That one is absolutely pummeled. Very deep. Gone. That was certainly a moonshot. Did it again. Home run number two of the game. And they tack on to their lead. It's 4-1. to one, And they tighten their grip on the lead with that homer. What a swing he put on that one. Sending it over the wall in the opposite field gap. It takes a lot of power to hit it out in that territory. If he can repeat that swing, look out. Number four was fantastic in the win. Had three hits, two of them homers. He was a difference maker for them in this one. Nice effort to contribute to the win. Fans are final line score. First for the victorious visiting team. Four runs, 12 hits. So digging in, the center fielder. The center fielder. Number four. Come on, big guy. Stay hot up there. And there's a strike. All one's the count. with two strikes really good approach at the dish i'm sure he's happy with that swing especially considering he hit it 107 miles per hour off the lumber if he got it a grain lower it might still be flying let's see if he gives him anything to swing at here and that's a walk that is good the third baseman digs in now Here's the 0-2 pitch. Grounds this one to short. Off balance speed, there's one. Throw to first, but not in time. That is it. On that play, he could set his feet, and that can make things tough. Still, he made an accurate throw for the out at second. And here is the second baseman, number three. The 3-0 pitch, and that'll nope. load the bases. Batting seven. Carlos Perez now at the plate. And a swing and a miss. That ends the inning and limits the damage. So they get one, but end up leaving the bases loaded. Midway in the first, the Aviators on top here. One to nothing. And the next batter, Charlie Blackman. Batting second, the designated hitter, Charlie Blackman. The 0-1. It's this one to fairly deep center field. Hops over the wall, and that's an automatic double. Great swing on that one. Loud contact coming off the bat, and he's rewarded with the automatic double. Nice productive at bat.
And now the right that fielder. The right fielder. Orlando Martinez. Here's the 0-1 pitch. He hits a fly to center, settles under it. Runner tags at second. Throw in to third. Moves up a base, so two away with runners at the corners. So Got after he it. moved up on the tag, we'll see if they can pay it off and bring him in to score. A lot of ways they can play. Leading off for the aviators, the center fielder, number four. The pitch. That one fouled off. The 0 1. Grounder left side. Fires over to first. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. The first baseman, number seven, Drew Luckbauer. As we go to the last of the third, the and now the DH, Charlie the Blackman. Hitter, Charlie Blackman. On 0 and 1, the delivery. Line drive for a base hit. Round first and digging for second. Here comes the throw. In safely with a double, second of the day. That makes two doubles for him on the day. Not a bad bit of work by the DH. Number four. On the ground, could be two. Off balance speed, there's one. On the first, double play. The first baseman, number seven, Drew Lutbar. So two down. Caleb Ketchum getting ready to hit. Number four. And the 0-1 now. That one hammered, center field. This one's pretty deep. Out of here! It just clears the wall. Fourth home run of the season, and they add to their lead. It's four to one. Always helps to pad the lead, and they did exactly that. Seems safe to say that he got what he was looking for on that pitch. Great job to square it up and send it out. Now up the center fielder, number four, one for three. Pretty far back there. And that one is gone. Up to five homers in the series. And they close the gap. It's four to two. Still behind, but a little more hope in that dugout now after the home run. That's some outstanding plate coverage. He recognized the down and away breaking ball, kept the weight back just long enough, and had enough strength in his wrists to pull it out for a home. 
two away and a now runner at first. The Number center four. fielder will hit next. He's already homered in this ball game. Swing and a miss. Oh, and one. The other way. And that's that. So no runs on no hits, no errors, and one left. We head to the bottom of the eighth, and we are tied at four. Number four, with a good game to help them get the win. Had a pair of hits, one of them a homer. Great game at the plate, and he certainly made a difference for them. Nice job to help lift them to the win. Fans are final line score. First for the victorious visiting team. Five runs, eight hits, one error. They left 18 runners on base. The center fielder Leading digs in now. Las Vegas. The center fielder. Number four. And the pitch. He swings and fouls one off. That's the kind of pitch he likes to hammer a bit away so he can extend the arms. This time, though, he wasn't quite able to square it up. The 0 1 offering. Held off down the right side. This one is labeled. 
to the warning track, makes the catch. And he may be feeling down as he heads back to the dugout, but that's a swing to be proud of. That ball now better. Such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Keeps the heart rate low, maintains focus, and doesn't shift approach in run scoring opportunities. What an asset in the lineup. That one hooked foul. Runner at second with two down. That's a line shot for a base hit. Coming around third. The run comes in to score from second. It's four to two. Now back. That ball was now humming as it left the bat. Pretty clear early on in that play that he was looking at extra bases. Now a chance for the first baseman, number 57. Here's the 2-2. Out towards left center, giving chase. Five bounce takes it over the fence for an automatic double. A run comes in on the play. That's a nice swing for the automatic double there. He gets to just amble into second base and wait for his teammate to drive him in. Leading off for the Aviators, the center fielder, number four. The pitch. This ball is crushed deep to left. This one's going to go. An absolutely titanic shot. The sixth of the series. And they add on. It's 11 to 2. That's a good job to adjust to the inside fastball there. He may have been hunting something on the outer half, but he kept the hands in and blasted that one out for the round tripper. Base is loaded with one away. The center fielder now at the plate. Already a homer for him in this one. Line drive and it's caught to second with the throw and no chance to get back. It's a double play. One run in the inning, but they leave a pair aboard. Last half of the fifth coming up, the Aviators out front, 12 to 2. And next, the cleanup hitter. He's already homered in this ballgame. And a foul ball down the third base line. The Aviators up big in this game. Here in the top half of the seventh. Right through there for a strike. I know he missed the zone, but that thing was hissing as it came home. Always fun seeing a pitcher break triple digits. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Cranked out to right center. Adams on the way over. Hauls it in for the out. Had to cover a lot of ground there, and that's why you take those extra reps during batting practice. Getting Armando. reads on the ball as it comes off the bat. Albert. Even a Strong individual day and a team win, and you'll take that every time. This is a game he can feel really good about.
Time of the ball game, four hours and 19 minutes. So up next, Charlie Blackman. The designated hitter, Charlie Blackman. Hey, clutch up for us. Get a strike out for us. Let's go. Adams stands at second. Nobody out. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. Headed for the plate. Now a long throw home. In there, and a run comes in to score. And with that knock, he advances the hitting streak to 10 games. Quite the run he's on right now, really seeing the ball well. We're back here at the ballpark, and now the center fielder. Center fielder, number four. The pitch. There's a strike. Since he's got a 4-0 lead, he should attack the zone and avoid walks. Lots of margin for error right now. Bashes this one to deep left center. And no one can get there. Around first, hustling for two. Safe at second with a leadoff double. Batting fifth, the first baseman, number seven, Drew Ludbauer. And now, the first baseman, number seven. The Bees, up by four, here in the top of the second. This one driven deep to right. That one's carrying. Leaping. Brought it back. That was nearly a two-run homer, but great job that by the good. outfielder to get the up catcher. there and take it away. One out, runner at second base. Here's the catcher. Hey, get your pitch. Drive it right here. Runner at second here and one away. Now a high fly ball to left center. Adele on the move to the alley. Runner tags up for third. And now a wide throw to third. The tag out, a double play. And a no-no on the bases, making the third out at third base. Not great. We go to the bottom of the second inning. The Bees on top, four to nothing. We're back here at Leading the ballpark. The All bees. set for the bottom of the third. The batter now, base. Evan White. Evan White. Rock and fire, baby. And here's the 0-2. Swing and a rocket. That one's back there. Grabs it right up against the wall. The left fielder, number seven, Joe Adele. Bases empty, one away. Joe Adele getting ready to hit. Two rocks and fires. Liner into center. And there's two down. The right fielder, number nine, 
Orlando. Leading off for Las Vegas, the center fielder, number four. See it driving like you can. Let's go. And the pitch. Huge swing, and this one sails out of here to right field. A towering blast. Seventh home run of the series. And they're on the scoreboard. It's 5-1. to one. Make it six straight games with a homer for him. He's looking like a well-oiled machine at the plate. Completely locked in. Pitchers who throw high fastballs need to put them up and out of the zone, particularly if they're on the outer half. If it's in the zone, it's too easy for the hitter to extend and barrel it up like he did there on the oppo bomb. We head to the bottom Leading of the fifth inning, the and lead. now the DH, Charlie the Blackman. Hitter, Charlie Blackman. That's ripped toward center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One up, one down. The batter number 24. Second baseman. Leading off for Las Vegas. The center fielder. Number four. And the pitch. Swing and a foul straight back. And that one hammer. It's back there. This one's gone. That was certainly a moonshot. Second home run of the game. And they cut into the deficit. It's five to two. He keeps producing loud contact in this ballgame. Really good hitting in this one. A little too cute from the pitcher there. Tried to keep that one just off the outer edge, but it wound up leaking into a hittable spot, and the batter took advantage of the mistake. Next to hit, the catcher, number 36. The catcher, number 36, Anthony Mulrod. Hey, we got one here. Paris, leading off first with one away. Line drive, that's a base hit. Lead runners around second. And that's a one out single. Right past his coach and headed for the plate. Not close, he comes across to score. That one was served in a punch bowl right down the middle and he regretted it as soon as it left his hand. So here's the cleanup hitter, the center fielder. Two home runs under his belt already in this game, most recently in inning number six. Now he's looking for his third dinger in this spot. This crowd should be on the edge of their seats. Fastball for a strike. That's not a pitch you want to swing at early in the count. Most likely you'll just roll over it. If you have two strikes on you, that's different, of course. 0-1 oh, now. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. That one ripped out to left. And it's gone. 
Sends a rocket to left. That's home run number three of the game. And they throw a pair on the board. It's 6-4. What a game he's having at the plate. Showing off some serious slugging ability. What a show he has put on at the plate in this game. Three homer games like this one don't come along every day. I hope he's enjoying it. The Digging in, the center fielder. And now he's got a shot to turn an already memorable day into an historic day with a chance to hit his fourth homer of the ball game. It's been a tremendous performance to this point, but I'm sure he'd like to put the exclamation point on top with that fourth dinger. Foul ball there. With the go-ahead run in the batter's box. Here in the top of the ninth. And that's Rick for a base hit. Runner rounds third on his way to the plate. That ball was scorched, and he came through in a big way for them on that one. Games like this can really boost the perception of a prospect, and we'll see what it does for his profile. And here's the first baseman. He goes down looking. And here's the catcher. The catcher, Daniel Sousa. Fly ball to right. Drifts towards it. Calls it in, two away. The batter number five, second base Cooper Baum. The second baseman will hit next. The Aviators down to their last strike. Line drive, that's a base knock. And here comes the runner. Here's the throw to the plate. It's offline and the run scores. That ties it up at six. That is a clutch performance right there to get the game-tying RBI knock here in the top of the ninth. And it's a gut punch to the home team. Very frustrating to give up the lead in this spot. Now it's the right now fielder, back. Colby Thomas. The right fielder, Colby Thomas. Lefty from the stretch with runners on the corners. Fly out to center field. Makes the catch, and that'll end the inning. One run game here today. Final score, 7-6. to six. A one-run, extra-inning win. On behalf of our entire outstanding crew here at the show, I'm Ben Gelman. Thanks for joining us.
Now we love a good debut around these parts, especially when they're highly anticipated. Welcome in MLB Network, Lawrence Jahadi, Carlos Pena, Melanie Newman here with you. One of the best of the best today, a top prospect in the game, is on his way to the show. You were highly hyped coming into the major leagues. What was that like? How'd you deal with it? Well, you know what? It's fun, right? You, you get all this hype around you and you feel like, hey, I, I have all this support behind me. But the reality is it's a, lot of yeah. it's a lot of pressure to live up to. And at the end of the day, you just have to get out there and say, look, I deserve to be here. Now I'm going to put the blinders on, get back to work. Routine is extremely important. Preparation and go play the game you love. Forget about the hype. Go play baseball between the lines. Well, I know you were probably really intent on, you know, I want to make sure I stand up for this organization, the coaches, yeah. my teammates who have been watching me. But this is a big day for the fans and media as well because you get that top prospect tag. People start to follow you the minute that you enter mm. the professional sport. It doesn't matter what level of the minor leagues that you start your journey on. And so this is the hope. You're embodying the hope of the future of this team. It's a really big one, but it's a really fun one. Gosh, no pressure. That's so cool. <laughs> we're all fans, and we projected out that his ceiling is high. We can't wait to see the mark he makes on the sport.